Well, proof of vaccination now required at San Francisco's Chase Center. And while the Warriors won't return for a few weeks, the venue is about to get its first big test run. Today in the Bay Sierra Johnson live this morning inside the Chase Center to tell us about it. Negative test results won't be enough anymore. Yeah, good morning, Laura. That's exactly right. Those negative tests will not be enough. You'll need to show that proof of vaccination. And as you mentioned, we're a couple of weeks away from that preseason game. I, begin, I believe it's October 6th, but starting tomorrow will be the start of that concert series. You can see behind me the screen illuminating uh, those artists that will be set to perform tomorrow. Tame Impala. That's when staff here will get that first test run of having to show that proof of vaccination. So starting today for any event with more than more than 1000 people, you will need to show that proof of vaccination. Fans can use the Clear app, the Health Feature app, or actually show that physical card. And masks will also be required inside those venues when those events are taking place. Now, the Chase Center here joins a long list of other facilities requiring that proof of vaccination. San Francisco, that proof is now required to enter any indoor restaurants, bars, gyms, theaters, and other in entertainment venues like San Jose's SAP Center. They have also implemented that proof of vaccination. So again, if you're coming to see any of those shows like Tame Impala tomorrow, you will need to bring that vaccination card. And there's a long list of other artists. Um, I saw Belle Biv DeVoe coming. I know Simone Biles is coming. A lot of really exciting performances. But you will need to come correct with your proof of vaccination. We are live inside the Chase Center. Sierra Johnson for today in the